some latest news coming in. According to health ministry sources, there have been 23 deaths in the last two and a half weeks due to COVID-19. These cases not because of JN1, but because of other variants. Those who died had no comorbidities. This is a very disturbing development uh, that we're reporting right now. 23 deaths have been reported. We thought that the COVID is past us and we are out of the pandemic. Certain new variants that have been doing the rounds in the last one, one to uh, one and a half years are actually variants that have not been very uh, potent in terms of making humans sick. Uh, they were like a flu that came in and then they, uh, you know, they were cured without any kind of quarantine efforts or special efforts that were taken by the government. But the fact that this new particular variant is being talked about. There are certain deaths which are being reported. The fact that there are certain states that have already gotten back a mask mandate. These are worrying developments. Shireen Elizabeth with us on the broadcast. Uh, Shireen, please tell us more. Well, uh, what our sources within the health ministry has in fact been telling us is that the expected cases of COVID are only going to increase in coming days. And this is something that the repeat uh, we have seen in past four years is that whenever the winter uh, comes the cases goes up uh, uh, and hence you know there are respiratory illnesses and that eventually uh, turns into COVID cases. Now in last two and a half weeks we have seen 23 people have in fact died due to COVID. The reason for their death is comorbidities and also getting positive of COVID but JN.1 is not the reason why these deaths are being reported. As of now there are uh, 21 cases of JN.1 what is worrying the health ministry at this point is that the infection rate is very high. It is very easily transmissible. It is mild variant, but you can understand when there are more and more people getting infected, it could lead to a burden, overburden on the hospital departments or health departments in the country. And that is why the health ministry is in fact saying that uh, there needs to be proper arrangements centering up as far as the situation is concerned. But they also have made it clear that there is no need for a third booster dose or any kind of restrictions. So of course we have to wait uh, uh, for uh, in coming days we we'll get to know more details about JN.1. But as of now, uh, we need to take all the precautions is what the health ministry is saying. But uh, officially they are not going to announce any sort of uh, restrictions at this point. All right. Thank you, Shireen, for putting all of that into perspective.